Hey fellow rock lovers, check this out. I found this seam of something out in West Texas a few days ago. I got out on some property just north of the Big Bend National Park. The owner let me roam around and look for interesting rocks. I didn't find much. I did find a couple of pieces of this, which is, as you can see, some kind of seam of something. And honestly, I don't know what it is. I'm not a geologist, I have no idea. I thought it would be fun though to take this piece and go over to the cab machine and smooth out this edge and then try to put a polish on it. So the top and bottom will be left unchanged, but hopefully the edge all the way around will be nice and shiny. How does that sound? Let me go ahead and take this into the shop, get it on the capping machine and get started. Here we are on the 80 grit wheel. Let's get the edge nice and smooth. This is how it looks dry. I think I touched on all the different surfaces on the edge. Next up is this 220 grit wheel, just like making a cabochon. There, it's a little bit smoother, looking good. Our next wheel is the 280 grit wheel. This should start to bring out a little bit of a polish. Eh, maybe a little bit, you can see. Okay, our next wheel is the 600 grit wheel. Will this make it shine? You know, a little bit better. You can start to see the lights reflecting. Next up is this 1200 grit wheel. What will this do? Oh, there you go. Now the shop lights are starting to reflect. That's looking a little bit better. The last wheel on the cabin machine is the 3000 grit wheel. Okay, okay. Now the shine is starting to take shape. You can see the reflection. Shop lights are looking good, but we can do better. Let's jump on the wet belt sander and the cerium belt. Spend a few moments here. Yeah, there we go. That's our final polish. How does that look? You can see the reflection outside. It's not great, but it's good. Let's take it inside for a closer look. Our mystery seam is finished with the edge polishing. How did it turn out? Let's take a look. Oh, well, that's pretty nice. It's not a super great mirror-like shine, but it's not bad. As you can see, there are some areas that are just a little bit rough. Well, I shouldn't say rough. Maybe fractured is a better way to describe it because it's actually very smooth, just with some small mineral, let's just call them little fractures, which are unavoidable. Pretty neat stuff. Still have no idea what it is. It looks like it could be a quartzy material. It seemed too soft to be quartz. I don't know. If you know, please post below, as they say. I like the way it turned out. It's interesting. Don't know what it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please check my other videos for more like this. Thanks again.